Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Abhijit and today in this video, I will explain you how to group weeks in a Salesforce report. So first, let us understand what is this grouping uh, report by week in Salesforce actually means. So in Salesforce, grouping by week refers to a feature in Salesforce report where we can group the report data based on the week dates. For example, we have uh, date fields like created date, modified date, last activity and so and so. So we can group these date fields in the week format. Let me show you an image so that you can better understand how the data which is grouped by week date look like. So here you can see there is a report that I have created and the field created date is grouped in a week format. And here you can see the date range of the format is from 19 11 2023 to 25 11 23. That means uh, these records are between the duration of this week. For example, 19 of 11 was Monday and 25 of 11 was Sunday. So it will take the date range of that particular week and adjacent to that it will show the records that were created in that particular week. And grouping the data in the weekly format helps in observing the changes that are occurring every week. So first explaining you the process of uh, grouping the weeks in Salesforce report I would like to tell you that uh, uh, this feature is available in both uh, Salesforce Lightning and Salesforce Classic Edition. So first we will see the process of uh, grouping weeks in Salesforce report in the Lightning Edition. So let's move ahead and see the process in the Lightning Edition. So right now I have logged into my Salesforce account and right now I am in the sales application and here you can see this reports tab. So you have to click on it and in case you are not able to find this reports tab then simply click on this app launcher and here search and select reports and as we click on the reports it will redirect us to the reports window and here in the reports window we will create a new report and for that click on this button new report and as we click on the new report button this pop-up window will appear on the screen and from here you have to select the category and the report type for the report that you are going to create so here i am selecting the opportunities because it is the most common report that we create in the report type name again i will select the opportunities and you can also select the category and the report time according to your requirements and here i will click on this start report button and after selecting the category and the report type click on this start report button and now you can see there are no records on the report table and for that first we need to apply some filters and for that go to this left side bar and here click on this filters tab and in the show me field i will select all opportunities and the close date field i will change it to created date and in the range i will select the range as all time and then click on this apply button and you can also change the filters according to your requirements and after applying the filters go to this outline tab and to group a date field by week first we need to add a date field as a group row and for that and for that you can also select a column from here like close date created date and drag it to the region group rows or what you can do is search and select from the group rows field so here I will select created date. So now you can see the created date is added as a group row. And from here I will remove some columns that I don't require. And if you are unable to find the date fields, you can click on this fields slider. And it will show you the date fields. For that you have to simply search for the date. And it will show you all the date fields present for this particular object. So these are the close date, last state change dates and so and so. So now after so now after adding the date field as a group row we will click on the drop down of this group row and from the options we will go on group date by and then select calendar week now you can see the records are being sorted according to the weeks in which the records is being created and we can also arrange this record in the ascending and the descending order so now we have grouped the date by the week format and now we will add a chart for better visualization and for that click on this add chart button and this chart will appear above the table and you can also customize this chart from this chart properties so now the report is ready and now we will save and run this report and for that click on this save and run button and in the report name field enter the name to save this report i will save this report as a weekly opportunities and the report unique name will be auto generated according to the entered report name and in the folder field you have to select the folder in which you want to save this report so i will select the public reports folder so that all users can view this report and in the last click on the save button 
as we click on the save button the report will be saved and it will run in the next window where we can view all the records of this report and here you can see the date field is grouped in the week format so this is how we group weeks in salesforce report in the lightning edition so now we will move ahead and see the same process of grouping weeks in salesforce report in the classic edition so now i have switched into the classic edition of the salesforce and here on the home page of classic click on this reports tab and in the reports and dashboard window click on this button new report and in this step we have to select the report type so i will select the report type as leads and then click on this create button and to create and to generate records in the report table first we need to apply some filters so in the show field i will select the uh, all leads and date field i will I have selected as created date and the range i will select as all time and you can also select the date fields and the range according to your requirements and to add a group row in this report table first we need to change the table format and for that click on this drop down tabular format and then select summary and now we will add a date field as a group row in this report table and for that go to this left hand sidebar and from here and select a date field then drag it to this region and for that go to this left hand sidebar and from here select and drag a date field to the region drop a file here to create a grouping and now you can see this created date and now you can see this create date field is added as a group row and to group this date field in the week format click on this drop down and from the options go to this group dates by and then select calendar week and now you can see the records are being arranged in the week they are being created so you can see the date range of a week from 21.5 to 27.5 so this is how we group by week in a salesforce report in the classic edition so this was all about creating a report that was grouped by week in salesforce and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye